everyone doing? I'm gonna put this blue cheetah headband in my hair. I think for today. So hello, hello, hello. Hi, Tina. Okay. So I actually, number one, I never, okay, we don't have a Sephora that is like next to us or close to us or anything like that. So we had to run a bunch of errands yesterday. And so we actually went to JCPenney, got a bunch of towels, stuff like that, because we needed them. Um, and then there was a Sephora in our JCPenney. So I ended up getting something special. And I got a Tarte High Performance Naturals palette. And it comes with the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Which, yes, I will test that out. And then also the Tardis Eyeliner. So, it... And it also comes with this, like, really pretty, like, Tarte brush that's, like, double-sided. So, we're going to test this out. And I'm going to see if, how I like it. <clears throat> now, at Sephora, they have the testers and stuff like that. Um, uh, the tester, I was kind of surprised, but then not surprised because that's something I don't like about Sephora, no offense, but like when they have testers and stuff like that, people break things. They don't take care of things. They are just rude and end up like shattering eyeshadows or, you know, messing with stuff that like, it's not okay. Like, why would you do that? Um, so anyway, there's that. And also another thing is you never know because when it's in a store, sometimes people are gross and stick their fingers in things that they shouldn't or um, in like Walmart and stuff like that. There's been so many times where somebody has like used that lipstick and stuff on their skin and stuff like that. Like it's not, it's just not healthy. It's not good for your face. It's not good for your lips. It's not good for none of it. So anyway, I bought this brand new in its box. Um, this one is, like I said, the High Performance Naturals palette. It's really pretty though. This is the holiday one. Woo, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Got all the sequins in it. It's a little sequin book. Basically, it's a gold book. Um, sequins all over it. It does, like, you have to nicely, but you can nicely switch it over to just the black if you're not into all the colors. See how that's all black right there? So, I like all the colors, though. It's pretty. Hi, Kat. How are you? So, yeah, we've got the sequin book there. All these pretty different colors that um, have names. So, I'll read all the names to you after in a second. Then, today, we also had to go to JCPenney Optimal. So, we had to go into a JCPenney through JCPenney and go into there so we could get our um, glasses we had to pick out frames today yes I picked out frames you guys will see it when I get them I haven't got them yet we ordered them but we haven't got them yet so and I got this makeup melting butter cleanser by drunk elephant so I'm excited to try this um the girl there actually told me that she loves this and that she stocks up on this and then the other girl who actually, like, grabbed this, she put some on my hand to feel it because I told her, like, I have severe sense of skin, so I didn't know to make sure, you know, is this going to break me out? Because if it is, it'll break it me out on my hand. So I put it on my, she put a little bit on my hand, and I rubbed it in, and it was, like, so smooth. Um, and you guys, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but liquid removers and, um, hi, April. I told you I'm live. He's so rude. Um, so uh, the liquid removers and like the pads and the um, like the cloths and stuff like that. Sometimes for my skin personally, I can't get the makeup all off me. So, I decided to, because I've heard so much good things about, like, cleansing, like, makeup remover bombs. So, I decided to look that up. And, anyway, they had this one. They had another one, which was funny. Because the other one was from pharmacy, but it was a different pharmacy. Like, it was a different um, company-wise. Like, it's another one, but it's, like, spelled, like, 
so different than ours. Um, but it's kind of funny that, like, the lady grabbed that one, and I didn't even notice the wording. I didn't even notice the brand until, like, after Ray said it. Um, but anyway, this is the Drunk Elephant, I don't know how to say that, Sly, I think it is, Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. It's got Kiwi Strawberry Seed Blend and Virgin Marula Oil in it. So, and then it has a plus a bamboo booster. And I read the directions in this. There's a little cute little letter thing from the person who has Drunk Elephant. And they actually have like a little booster in there where you can put um, that balm in your hand and then put a little bit of the booster and you can exfoliate into your lips or exfoliate your face with it. Um, but the balm is not an exfoliator unless you add that little booster in your hand with the stuff because they say not to put it in the whole thing because you don't want to exfoliate your face every single day. So anyway, all right, let's get into base makeup. I know I talk a lot, but that's okay. Um, I needed to explain some things to y'all. So we're going to take makeup and we're going to use the VFX Pro camera ready foundation because I want to put this balm to the test basically so we're going to put some primer on first like always and then after we get the base face then I will show you guys this eyeshadow palette because it is so pretty and then I will also read the names to you guys because they're really they're fun names I think it's cute they're this was a holiday so this one's the holiday eyeshadow palette um, from Tarte, which again, I've never had a Tarte product until now, literally, because again, I have severe sensitive skin. A lot of people say Tarte is great for sensitive skin people, so I'm kind of going to put that to the test a little bit. I swatched it on my hand a little bit on the tester, but again, like I didn't want to mess with the tester much because like I said, I hate doing that because it's like, no... I'd rather not put my hands in other stuff that, like, has already had other people, like, no. Not sanitary at all. Hi, Lexi. How are you? Okay. Let's get some foundation on. We are going to go in with this Kabuki brush. We're going to use some of the foundation. I actually really like using this kabuki brush. It works out really well, actually. It gets enough of the product, and then it also just spreads it out beautifully. Uh, has Tino? Tino got a puppy. What do you mean? Tino doesn't have a puppy, no. Has he been posting pictures of the dogs again? Tino, have you been posting pictures of my dogs? <laughs> we didn't sign a conceit form that's illegal. We can find you for $250. <laughs> you hear him? We'll find you for $200. Just kidding. No, he doesn't have a puppy. He's not allowed having a pet in my house. No offense, but like, no. His comment was, I'll get the puppy after your no. live. Oh, I didn't even see that comment. He what? meant precious. No. He meant precious because he, he gets precious and takes her upstairs with him. And he sleeps with her. He has her upstairs with him. Right. Because she, if she ends up in William's bed, she tears up stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. My makeup just went, phew, look at that. Foundation just went beautifully. I haven't actually, I don't think I've used this Kabuki brush on this foundation yet. I think I was going to, and then I never did. That's okay. We'll be washing that. All right. Uh, we were going to do that, but honestly, I don't want to. How come he has her? Uh, he sleeps with her. He wants to? <laughs> I don't know. He wants to. He likes sleeping with her. 
He likes having her up with him at nighttime, at bedtime. At bedtime, he likes having her up there. All right. Let's go in with some bronzer. Y'all, I love this foundation so much. Honestly, the VFX for a, like, full coverage, wonderful, beautiful, like, foundation, VFX is, like, all the way. Did Bray just leave? <laughs> No, that's it. Oh, then where's Ray go? Did Ray go back in, in the room? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Where does Kasha and us... Okay, Athena sleeps in her kennel because that's where she likes sleeping. She doesn't like sleeping with anybody. Athena sleeps in her kennel because she loves sleeping in her kennel. That's where she sleeps. Um, Kasha doesn't sleep in a kennel. If she's not so good, then yes, yeah, she will, but... Most of the time, Kasha sleeps with us because she likes sleeping with mommy and daddy. Athena, even as a puppy, she would not sleep with us. Like, she does not like sleeping with us. She is content and... Prasha, stop whining. Knock it off. You're being ridiculous. William, go check on her. Oh, she's hurting herself again. She's itching her ear. Mm-hmm. Go grab her and hold... And uh, sit with her. Please and thank you. But no, Athena sleeps in her kennel because that is her decision. If she wanted to sleep at mommy and daddy, she could, but she doesn't. She likes sleeping um, in the kennel. And then Kasha sleeps with us. And Precious, she likes sleeping with William, but she gives William too much trouble at night. So, she sleeps um, upstairs with Tino. Ooh, yes. I love this right now. Oh, so gorgeous. Love it. And yes, I'm doing a full face of makeup with not going anywhere. When I went everywhere today, I was literally out all day. And I had no makeup on. And I was like, are you serious? I should have had makeup on. I should have at least had base face on. But I didn't. I still felt good, though. It's okay. With our skincare, I felt good. Why can't Tino have a pet? Uh, because he lives with us. And if he wasn't living with us, then I'm sure he could. But we, he rents and lives here, so he cannot have a pet here. We already have too many. We have our three dogs, and they won't get along with any other animals. So, no, he cannot have a pet. I don't think he even wants one because he works all day at Burger King. So, if he had a pet, it would have to be, like, I don't know, something small that he could take care of. But, other than that, no, he cannot. Pug. Huh? Or a pug. They sleep all day. No, because the dogs would not like that. The dogs would not like a pug. You're crazy. I'm sure he'll get a pet. I'm sure he'll get a pet or something when he's not living here. But for now, he lives here, and the dogs don't get along with, like, a lot of things. And, you know, this is me and Ray's house. It's not anybody else's. It's kind of our, you know, our house, our rules, basically. I mean, it is what it is. All right, all right, all right. I need to find the brush. There it is. I had to find the correct brush. All right. Today, so since I'm going to be using this balm to seriously test this out to make sure I get makeup off, we're going to put the pomade on. The pomade. We're going to do the pomade and put the pomade on. Because that's like one of like the ones like... That would be a nice little test, basically. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not to be harsh or anything, but, like, we have animals, and we don't really need any more in our house, you know? So, which he understands that. I mean, we went over that when, you know, he was moving in here and everything. We went over a lot of stuff with him, so... 
Because I don't know if y'all know this or not, but me and Tino, we literally, we never met each other. He came here to visit. Um, well, he was. It, so, the whole plan was him coming here to visit us because we've never met him, like, ever. But he was in a bad family situation stuff, and he decided, um, we all kind of decided and stuff to have him move in here. It was just better for him. He pays rent, you know. It's basically like living in an apartment almost, you know, that kind of thing, is he rents out his room. Rents out his room. My husband is the one who always gets dinner and stuff. Every once in a while, you know, William will pay for dinner. Senior will pay for dinner every once in a while, you know. It's that whole thing. But either way, no matter what, this is no one's house but me and Ray's. So, either way, no matter what, this is me and Ray's, so. Um, okay, sorry. Hi, Destiny. Um, hi, Jennifer. Hi, April. Hello, hello, hello. And you guys, let me know and stuff. Like, do you guys use Tarte products? Like, I don't know what y'all use. Tell me. Like, I would love to know. Do you guys use Tarte products? Do you enjoy Tarte products? You know, that kind of thing. This is my... Like I said, I love pharmacy and I enjoy them 100%. I just sometimes like trying something new sometimes. So, and I figured, like, this is a really gorgeous, like, holiday palette thing. So, I was like... You know, it's pretty. I want to give it a go. I've never tried Tarte products, and, you know, it's just kind of works out. Um, how much is his rent, if you don't mind me asking? Um, you'd have to ask Tina that, actually. Um, my husband comes up with his rent price, so you would have to ask Tino. Actually, Tino, if you're on here, come downstairs. That way you're on here and they can talk to you too. Um, you love Tarte Destiny? Really? What is your favorite product? And have you ever tried Drunk Elephant? Like if you guys, have you guys ever tried this um, balm? This uh, melt, makeup melting, makeup melting butter cleanser. Have you guys tried this? product like what do you guys think i want to know i would love to hear your guys' opinions hi jamie how are you hi cat tino come downstairs so they can actually talk to you too and you're on here it's easier that way you can sit like right next to me i use foundation oh wow you use a lot you use their foundation, you use their concealer, their bronzer, eyeshadow, primer, liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh, girl. Wow, you use a lot, Destiny. This is my first ever Tarte product, so. Okay, have you ever used Drunk Elephant? Like, what do you think of it? I did a little too much in this area here. I have a little buildup in that area, too, which drives me nuts. Okay. And the only reason I build up in this area is because, like I said, makeup remover, my, the makeup removers that I've had, they don't get all my makeup off, which drives me absolutely crazy. Tino, are you, can you hear me? Like, get your butt down here. Don't make me yell, please. Because <laughs> I will yell for you. Um, I think the brand is amazing. I've used it once, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, this is Drunk Elephant Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I'm excited to try this. Because if this works for me, that's awesome. And I'll start using this like nothing else. Because when something works for me, I don't change it. Like, I don't want to change it. Especially when it comes to skincare. Um, like I said, like pharmacy skincare, I love. I really do love it. Um, 
but makeup remover i've not tried pharmacies but it's all like the liquids and um what else hi kiara how are you um the other one liquids and cloths and like that stuff i don't know it just like none of that kind of stuff those makeup removers like work fully on my skin specifically it's just how my skin is so i want to try a balm to see if this works because if this works i'm going to keep getting this so for i'm not going to keep going to sephora to get it i will order it online um because it's so much easier because i don't have a sephora like close by me at all oh he answered you he answered you, Lexi, he answered you. He said uh, rent is $350. So, and that's very generous because over around here, that is way lower than uh, what rent usually is. And rent over here where my town is, is usually like $500. So, um, if I have to, I'm like, yes, Tino, please come down here. Um... That's not bad. No, it's not too bad at all. Especially with, like I said, he doesn't have to come up with, like, his dinner meals or anything like that. Because, again, my husband buys dinner for, like, everyone here. Like, he buys the food to make for dinners. And my husband is the cook every night. Um, senior is a cook every once in a while. Um, but my husband is the cook. He's good at it. He loves it. So, what that is in pro pounds, though, as I don't use dollars as I'm in UK. Yeah. I have no idea, girl. I've never been to the UK, but yeah. How much did she ask? What's the currency? Uh, 350 No, Because I mean... that's. Oh, pounds. Um, that super cheap rent here where I live in Idaho is at least, oh my gosh, 1000 Holy crap, girl. Or more for two to three bedrooms. Oh, wow. See, I, so yeah, we rent for, you know, people who live here. Um, but, okay, awesome, Tino. Uh, rent here, oh, your rent is 550 pound. Ooh, okay. Yeah, um, he, like I said, he rents out his room upstairs, and then, you know, we provide dinners for everyone here, so. I have a two-bed house. Oh, okay, we have a three-bedroom house, and again, we don't rent this. We own this. Me and Ray own our house. Ray owns the house, but you, you guys know what I mean. Like, it's in his name, but it's our home, so, but it's his specific house. Anyway, all right, all right, let's go into some setting powder real quick, and then we will get into this gorgeous eyeshadow palette that I haven't played with. We also have mascara to try out because I've never tried Tarte mascara. Um, a lot of, I've seen so many people talk about that mascara that I have, which is Lights Camera Lashes. Um, and then also I have the TARDIS eyeliner that came with it. So this palette, this palette came, this palette is gorgeous. Y'all, I can't wait. I'm taking this to Florida with me, by the way. Because it has so many things, like I just want to play with all of it. So anyway, it says Winter Wonder Glam, which is Emily and like a nutshell. It says hashtag tart holiday. It comes with this cute little paper here, which honestly I'll probably turn into onto my clear case and make that into that. Would you like to grab a chair and sit down? No. Grab a chair, please. They want you on here, so they want you on here. Um, okay. Bleh. Anyway, so there's this. It's this palette. Look how gorgeous this is. You guys, oh, I don't want to blind y'all with the mirror. Try not to blind y'all with the mirror. Okay, there we go. So these gorgeous colors, those glitters are actual like press glitters. But I already tested, so yes, I swatched it yesterday. 
I wanted to play with it. I wanted to test. I haven't put it on my eyes yet at all. I've only tested on like my arm and stuff to swatch it. Um, but these pressed glitters, I did find out that you need to wet the brush before you use them because you can't use your fingers. It does not come on, it will not go on your eyes or arm or whatever until you wet your brush. I love that glitter purple. I know, it's so pretty. Pretty, it's like a unicorn color. Um, okay. Okay, it's just jumping a bunch of them. Okay. And then this gorgeous mirror. So there's also that. So yeah, we're going to play with these. I'm going to do a glitter look because, again, I want to prove and check on how good this is. So we're going to do the full-on test. And for eyes, so for eyes, though, it did come with a brush. It's this pretty gold tart brush. has two sides on it. So this is more of like a flat kind of side and this is more of like the blending so we're gonna use that brush um and then I don't think we're gonna use like I don't think we're gonna actually use like another brush hopefully we're just gonna just gonna use this okay they want you in here yep I'm gonna try and get your face in here a little bit there we go. That's better. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we are going to start out like, uh, usually I would just put primer and stuff on, but I actually already read the primer's not good to use. So we're not going to use the eye primer. Face primer, yes, it is good. Um, but eye primer actually, um, it depends exactly like if you're, wanting to use eye primer to enhance it. If not, I don't, don't put eye primer on your eyes. Um, I read about it and apparently eye primer and stuff like that can clog up and make bumps all over your eyes. It doesn't matter what primer it is and what good ingredients. It's primer putting on your eyes is an extra and you, if you want to be extra, be extra, but I don't want to be extra on my eyes. So we're not going to do that. So, we are going to, wherever that setting spray went, right here. So, we are going to go in and pick a color, you know. Pick one. We're going to do glitter, but pick a regular color to do transition. So, I can test this thing out. Mm. And don't choose black, though. I don't want to do that. No, I wasn't going to do black. That one? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, he chose... I don't know how to do this. It's this color right here. So, we're going to test that one. Okay, very powdery. That's actually, that's so funny because it's almost the color of my eyelid, but it's a little darker. Just a, by a tiny bit. Oh, very different. So, number one, they're very soft. So I would say they're very like a soft finish. That's so funny though. It's like a tiny, tiny bit darker than my actual eyelid. Not by much. I know, not by much. Choose another color too so we can make this a little bit different. Sorry. Wow. That one? Okay. That one's like a very like, I don't know, almost like dark, but warm. Right? Actually, that's, I think that's more mauve -y. Hold on. Yeah, it's actually the mauve one. It's called Bob Slid. So, so far we use Mauve Magic. <laughs> that's the mauve one, what I just said. Uh, shoot, was there a comment there? Oh, no, I had to know. Hi, Mandy. How are you? Hi, Autumn. Okay. So he said use this one, and this one is called Bob Sled. So we're going to use that in the outer corner here. We're just going to kind of blend that a little bit. Okay, we're just going to blend that inwards a little bit. It's very pretty, though. I think they blend well. 
I feel like they blend well. I'm gonna do my tap, tap, tap motion. I like tapping, so if here's a trick for you. If you have a dark color, you wanna do this outer corner here, then just tap. Tap your eyeshadow a couple times. Hey, hey, hello, Autumn. And tap, tap, tap. So by the way, so let's talk a little bit. Okay, so today I've all I did was run a few errands today. We um, ordered our glasses. I'm excited. I got pink, like pink cheetah glasses. They have like glitter on the side here and they're like plasticky on the actual like, um, I don't know what you call that. Like, I don't know, piece of the glasses. So anyway, they're really, really pretty. I honestly probably will post a photo I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I post a photo or should I wait? Should I make them wait? Wait. Post, wait or post a photo? Wait. Wait? Make them wait? Yeah. Okay. We'll make them wait then. Sorry, y'all. We'll make you wait. Ooh. That's not bad. Just too cold here doing a deep clean around the house. You? Nice, Mandy. Uh, messing with a tart palette because I've never had one and now I do. Um, like the frame part. Like the frame part. Ah, uh, frame part. Are you talking about the uh, the glasses that I'm talking about, maybe? Or are you talking about this? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm confused. Uh, or are you talking about actually, like, the frame of this? I don't know. It's pretty, though. It's got, it's the sequin kind of thing. And it does move. Where it like turns full black if you want it. Or you can leave the sparkly colors. Because there's like colors to it. How was Frozen? Oh, Frozen 2 was amazing. I loved it. It was, I forgot to tell you guys about that. It was actually amazing. Way better than Frozen the first one. Like it was way better. I loved it. It was so good. Hey Tina, Mandy says. Lexi says. Hey Mandy. Yes. Okay, that's what you were talking about with your glasses. Oh, yeah, the frame of my glasses. Yes, I'm excited because, number one, if you guys have seen my glasses, I don't know if y'all pay attention or not, but they're black and they have polka dots on them, okay? I've had these for, we actually looked at, I've had these glasses for about six years. So, yeah, shame on me, I know, shame on me. It's okay though. Um, they, we did my eye test yesterday and they told me, hi Corey. Um, they told me that, wow, you know, I've changed, it's changed a lot. My eyes have changed a lot. Now they told me, so by the way, my mom told me about like my stigmatism that apparently I had a long time ago. Apparently, hi Liz. Um, hi Destiny. Apparently, the stigmatism has went away, so that's good. It's went away from my eyes. Um, it's not there anymore. Mandy says, go Hawks. Um, woo -woo! It's not there anymore, which is good. They said my eyes are very healthy. They said I've been taking care of them, obviously. Um, and that, obviously, my eyesight has changed a lot um, after, you know, the six years and stuff like that so um it's definitely time you know for getting new glasses I said i should have technically came in like way you know a while back but i haven't um anyway so <coughs> by the way these blend out really nice so far i'm seeing like they blend out really really nice and this brush i like this brush too i really like it it's working out really, really well, so. She's Let's just see. saying that. No, I'm not. I'm I'm giving my honest, honest opinion, and I like it so far. I really like it. <laughs> I'm going to just ignore that I just did in the wrong color just now. That's okay. I don't know. Is this a brown? Yeah, this one is a brown. Okay, so on the box, oh. Okay, it is a dark brown. So yeah, this one's bobsled. And then we're going to go into Cherry Tart. Y'all, Cherry Tart. 
How much was that palette? It was, let me think, because it was on sale. Give me one second. I gotta think. Um, okay, it's been a second. Because usually they say on the box, but for some reason it doesn't say on my box. Like at all. Um, the Tarte palette, this specifically. Um, I think it was like 54 maybe. It was either 54 or 45. I'm dyslexic, so I mess up my numbers. So it was either uh, 45 or 50. <laughs> Seriously, did I just say that? Yeah. Okay. It was either 45 or 54 dollars. It was one of the other. Um, because... Yeah, I'm dyslexic, so I mess up my numbers, like, badly. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it was one of those. You can look on the Tarte website, or you can look on the Sephora site, because they have it at Sephora. That's where I got mine. I actually went to a Sephora, and I got it. And it comes with a eyeliner right here, and a mascara. And yes, I guess they are basically, like, minis. So there's a mini mascara there, and a mini eyeliner. And yes, I will be testing them out today. Because I really want to try them. Because, again, never used any Tarte products till now. So, I'm using about three products here. Three Tarte ones. Um, Lights, Camera, Lashes. It's a four-in-one mascara. Never heard of that. Okay. So, it's a four-in-one mascara. And then this one is the Tartist Eyeliner. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's either 54 or, what did I say? 45. 45, sorry. My my brain just kind of turned off just for a second because my sugar just dropped. I just felt it. That's not good. I hate when it does that. And out of nowhere, it literally, like, goes, pew, drop. See that right now? <sighs> okay, I'm going to try and finish this out because... Yeah. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Anybody else freaking hypoglycemic and your sugar just drops out of nowhere? Because my story of my damn life. Yeah, story of my life. That I literally deal with. We're like, out of nowhere, my sugar drops. Okay. You guys said the purple. So I think we're going to do that like pretty purple. So you guys can see that. Okay. So, there, I'm good on that. Ooh, I love that. That's pretty. And there's also, like I said, there's, like, that dark brown, but then there's also a light brown here, and, like, this, like, I think this one's the gold one, maybe. Uh, I think it's, like, a gold, and that was a terrible swatch. Um, Like, yeah, like a gold color or something it is. And this one's really pretty, so it'd be a pretty little topper thing, or even, like, that kind of gold. Like, they're really, I will tell you, they're, like, severely pigmented. They're, I mean, they're pretty pigmented. I don't know if I would say severe, but they're pretty and they're pigmented. So, like, any of these would be just really pretty toppers. So, all right, we're going to not drop things. We're going to spray my brush. Um, hi, Jennifer. We're going to spray my brush, and then I'm going to dip into that really pretty, like, purple sparkle. Because literally, you guys, what are you going to just do? One second. I just sprayed my mirror. Um, literally, you guys, this is, like, a really pretty, like, glitter topper. And I don't know how it's going to adhere. Well, it actually adheres pretty well. We're going to see how it is actually on the eye primer. Because I wonder, I think it's going to adhere a little better after I put eye primer on. But like, we'll test it both ways. So we're going to put all this pretty glitter on. Oh, wow. It spreads out. I don't know. It spreads out nice. I'm definitely going to tap it. 
Like I said, I've never used this, so. Wow. Okay. Ow. Just be careful. Try not to drop any glitter in your eye like I just did. Okay. Okay, I don't know. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of eye primer on, and then we'll adhere the glitter and see if that works better, because if it does, we'll just put some more, we'll just put some eye primer on the other eye on top of that glitter, and then put the glitter on it, because, ow. That glitter is, like, hurting my eye. So... Let's see if it works better with this. This is the uh, little paint pot of eye primer from Pharmacy. And I love this stuff. This is so good. If I want an eye primer, I use this. Because honestly, I love it. Way better than a lot. Um, That's more pigmented with the primer. Probably. We're going to find out, though. It probably adheres a little better on the primer. So, let's find out. Yeah, this is more of like a topper. So, I would put a color underneath it. Unless you just want this a topper on top of your eye primer. But it definitely is like a topper to put on. Ooh, that is pretty though. Hold on. Let me finish this little bit and then I will show you guys. This is why I say it's a topper because you can see right through it. Like, you could build it a little bit, but, like, it's still going to show through. Yeah. Okay. This is all, no, no, no. Put an eye primer or, like, a base, whatever, like, concealer. But, like, this one, that's really pretty. I just agree. I still think that you should put a color underneath it. Okay, we're going to put eye primer right on top of that glitter and see if it covers it up. One second. I'm going to use my finger here. See, I love our eye primer so much because it seriously, look at this. Watch this, you guys. This is how good our eye primer is. This is how good our coverage on this eye primer is. Glitter wear. Whoa. Look at that. Glitter wear. It went bye-bye. It literally covered it. Bam, bam, bam. It's gone. That's how good our eye primer is. And you can also, if you have dark circles and stuff like that, you could tap some eye primer under your eye and stuff too and then put foundation on top. It's a little trick for ya. Alright, let me wet the brush one more time and do this glitter again. Let's do a different glitter though. Because why not, right? We already messed with that. Yeah, this is like, ooh, wow. Okay, that's on my hand. But like, if you put that on, it's going to stay on your finger. It's not going to come off like on your actual hand. That's why I say, like, wet your brush. Hi, Morgan. All right, let's go into the gold glitter, I think. Yeah, let's go into the gold glitter because, like, that's one that, like, I would go into for, like, Christmas and stuff or, you know, New Year's or whatever. So, ooh, glitter is getting on my lash. I am just going to do a little bit of a movement here. I'm just going to go tap, 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 and then slide it. And this is my little way to get this glitter on because it definitely adheres to the eye primer, though. Even this, like this one is a, uh, this is not very, uh, not really a liquid eye primer. It's more of like a... 
What is that? Like a cream eye primer, but it actually is adhering to it very well, which I'm kind of surprised because usually liquid would probably be better, but honestly, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. That adheres very well. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. I like that one. Like, I really like that one. Uh, so definitely with this glitter, if you want to use it, do what I just did. Um, spray your brush, go into it, and tap, 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 and tap the glitter. Don't spread it because it's not going to come out nice. It's more tacky. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes, eye primer, yeah, the pharmacy eye primer is more tacky because of it's very creamy and when it dries, like it, it dries so nice. So I love our eye primer. If y'all want to hit me up, y'all want to hit me up and PayPal me or whatever it is for eye primer or you want to just go on my website, let me know because like this eye primer is so amazing. I love it. I enjoy it. And this is how much I love it. Okay. I love it so much. I have two. I have a backup. I love it so much. I have a backup. This is the one that I'm using now. That is a brand new one. Literally brand new. Hasn't been really touched. I think I swatched it the one time because I accidentally opened by accident and then realized I already had one that was open. So. But literally, this is a brand new one, and it's sitting here for backup, ready for me to use when I run out of this one. Because I love this eye primer so much. So good. How was my day? It was good. Hi, Jessica. Today was good. Like I said, I went to Sephora for like the second time in this weekend. Hi, Chastity. So yeah, this is pretty. I love this gold. This is a really pretty one, especially for Christmas. I don't know if y'all like like Christmas, um, like the gold and stuff for Christmas, but that's like really pretty. I'm excited to see if this bomb can get this glitter off too. That's Christmas. gonna be fun too. Gold and silver. Yep, gold and silver. <laughs> yep. From gold, silver, and gold, silver, and gold. Sorry. I know. Thanksgiving is soon. There needs to be a Thanksgiving song. Uh, yes, I love the eye primer too. Yes, eye primer is amazing. All right, let's go in. There is a Thanksgiving song. Yeah. What? It's sang by the comedians. Oh. Okay, just for the heck of it, because I'm done with this, we're going to put eye primer on over on top of this. I know, too much, but oh well. Because we're going to, you know, this is the real test. So, I'm going to put, because I haven't messed with any of these metallic shades. So, we're going to put this eye primer. That's why I love this stuff. Y'all, did you see that? <gasps> Glitter wear. Alright. Is that Tino next, Andre, next to you? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That is who is right next to me. Say hello to them. Hello. He's also on my team. Y'all didn't know he's with pharmacy. I was comfy in bed. Yeah, and then I made him get up. Because people were asking questions about him that I don't feel like I should answer. So. Alright, let me fix that a little bit. Okay. Glitter wear. Alright. <laughs> okay. That's how good our eye primer. Dang it. Dropping caps. That's how good our eye primer is. That it like. It'll cover that up. Like bam. Took all that glitter and went. Woof. Alright. Now with metallic shades. I honestly. I feel like. I just need to dip my finger. So. Let's see. Which one. Which one should I dip my finger in? Choose one. Hmm. How you been, hon? She's asking. Jessica's asking you. Which one? And then tell her. How you been? 
That's not metallic. That's matte. Metallic. Shiny. Not glitter, but shiny. Which one? Brown. This one? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Alright, he chose like this dark gold one. That brown shade would look awesome on the bottom lash line. Oh, the dark brown? I can do that. I actually been, I've been doing a little bit of that. Like that? There we go. Hi, Katie. Oh, Autumn said, yep. Okay. Okay. Am I, if I'm missing any answer or any questions, answers, any of that kind of stuff, I apologize because of this thing keeps on, like, scrolling up to, like, all people that already are on here. Okay. Hey, Facebook. I'm not even watching anymore. Then why is, I don't know. Alright, we're going to put this metallic. I'm down here, Facebook. Oh, it tagged you though, didn't no. it? No. You sure? Yeah. It probably tagged you. If Facebook sees your face and it goes, oh, that's that person. you got to be careful with these metallics though, because I just now found out that if you press too hard, it will shatter a little bit. It like did a little cut thing in it. That's pretty. See, that's a pretty gold too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely not glitter glitter, but it's it's metallic and it's got it's got this it's got the glitter factor. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, we're gonna take back into that color and like fix this whole area. Cause like I did, I put eye primer on here, so now it's like in the way. There we go. What palette is that? It is the Tarte. What did I say it was? Tarte Naturals. Hold on. Tarte High Performance Naturals, and it is this one, and it is the holiday, the holiday edition one. It's pretty. Very pretty. And I love the brush on it. It actually works really well. Alright, let me do a little close up. That's the dark gold, which is pretty. I just... It's not for I, my eyelid. Not for mine. Like, I like gold. I think it's pretty. But, like, the really dark gold, not for my eye. Like, the next... The one next to it would have been actually, like, perfect for my eye. Because if you ever notice, a light gold colors look great for brown eyes. Tarte High Performance Natural Holiday Edition. Yes. Yes, Chastity, that's the one. That's the one I bought. Well, the one Ray bought. Ray bought me a Tarte palette. First ever Tarte palette. And it came with a mini eyeliner and a mini mascara, which we're going to test out because, again... I don't do that kind of stuff. Like, this is the first Tarte product I've ever had. So. Mm. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to get that palette. Yeah, I know, right? It's gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. Hi, Crystal. Uh, hi, Harriet. Hello. Hi, Kat. Hi, April. Hi, Megan. Sorry, I see some new people that were jumping on. All right, now we are going to go in with the Tardis Eyeliner. Again, never tried, so we're going to... Ooh, okay. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so this one, you go like this. And it's one of those twisties. So, which I actually like. So, we'll, we'll see how I like this. We'll see, we'll see. All right. And then we're going to do mascara. Thank you. He literally caught it before it dropped. All right. So we're going to use this mirror. 
I'm going to use this eyeliner. I have a feeling I'm going to like this, and it's only because I actually like this type of eyeliner. Gel eyeliners are actually one of my favorites. I figured that out. Because they're kind of simple to use. Let's, let's test something. I don't usually do this, so we're going to test it. So let me see if I can see. Ooh. She did a wing. She did a wing! Yeah. Ooh, okay. I like that so far. See, I have a gel eyeliner that's very similar to this, and it's actually from Dollar Tree. Um, it's by Color Mats, though. Okay, is that? Hold on. Now, I'm trying to see if this is like pigmented. I feel like you've got to coat it a little bit, but it is pigmented like it's a very I don't know it's like it's not exactly like deep black but it is like that grayish black color almost okay I don't I'm not mad about it Cause like it's one of those that you can like nicely do your line. Ooh. Okay, I see. All right. Think we can do another one? No. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. My damage eye that's in trouble. Okay, not very good, but it's okay, it happens. It's because of this eye. I'm going to have to figure it out with this eye. Because this eye is a little more difficult. And it's just because of my eye. It's just how it is. Alright. Enough about that. Let's try the mascara. So that so far is a yes to me. I like it. I think it's good. Okay. Here's the mascara. Okay. It's got a thin. Like a nice little thin brush here. Ooh, that is something I'm not a fan of. Okay, hold on. Okay, I like the thin brush. But dang, you guys, this, mm, no. Lights, camera, lashes, four-in-one mascara. Okay, I will see how it performs, but I definitely won't be using this like an everyday thing. Like, no thank you, because of the smell. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're into fragrance, but oh my gosh. No, honey. No, no, no. Okay, this is not as good as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so. It's okay, but no offense, Tarte. I mean, your eyeshadow palette, bomb. Amazing. Your eyeliner pretty good um but like this i can't deal with because like the smell of it Ooh. you can smell it can't you yeah 
It is Ooh. strong. And I smell it. Like, if I close this bottle, hold on. Yeah, I can smell it because it's like mm -hmm. on my lashes and no, 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 no. Okay, no, 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 no. Because, heck no. Uh uh. That's what I love about pharmacy is our, literally, our mascara. Let me grab one. Oh. Open that. And hand that to me. Okay. Our mascara has a scent, but like it's not strong mm -hmm. and it's not like that's this is gonna give me a headache. Like I am not a fragrance person. If it's a deep, deep, like long <laughs> fragrance thing that's gonna stay, I can't handle. So today we're gonna do this, but I'm going to regret this because I already starting to have a headache. I mean, we've got to give it a fair shot, kind of. But... but like, um, no, thank you. This is not my everyday mascara. I will definitely, you know, I'll use it until it's gone because I'm not going to waste something. But... No, like I will never, like this is something I will not ever buy again. Like I'm glad it came in here so I could try it, but like I won't buy this separate. Like it's, no, 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 no. Okay, no, not for me. Mm -hmm. Forget that because heck no. I'm actually going to just set that back in here because we're just going to leave it in here because it's a nice little travel thing to take with when I do take my, um, things here technically that is a liquid though yeah yeah nobody's gonna know it's in an eyeshadow palette <laughs> nobody's gonna know it'll be fine and actually what ounce is this because i bet you it's camera or not camera i bet you it's travel safe six something and then oh there it is Point ten ounce yeah that's fine It'll be fine in here because it'll be on a, it'll be with me anyway. So, so, okay. Final review on this. Okay. Love the palette. I think this is gorgeous. I think you could get away with some everyday looks in here. You want to glam it out for freaking holiday season? Um, I think yes. Um, you want like an everyday, just like makeup look, different colors and stuff. Yes. You want to try something new and stuff like that? You want to really outside the box? I would say yes. I mean, they're gorgeous colors. They're gorgeous different colors. This glitter is really pretty, but like I said, make sure you wet your brush and dip in. Don't do your finger. You'll waste your colors. Um, only use a wet brush. Like, wet your brush and then dip in. And then do the tap motion because if you, like... You glide it all on your eye, you'll get it everywhere. Um, and it also will probably drop on your eye. Also, make sure you use eye primer. With these glitters, use eye primer. Because if you don't, you'll have glitter dropping in your eye. Because I still, I have glitter pieces right here in my eye right now. Because of me not using the eye primer the first time. Probably a bad idea. But I have, that's okay. My eye will just glisten a little bit, right? Anyway, um, but yeah, so this Winter Wonder Glam, this gorgeous tart, comes in this pretty box. Um, this tart high performance naturals. I like it. I'm I'm approving this palette, okay? It's Emily approved. It is very pretty. I love this. Um, I enjoy this and I can't wait to play with it even more because I will be playing with this a little more. Um now I probably won't play with it too much why i'm home and that is only because i'll get to like i'm probably gonna play with this and then also play at some of my pharmacy stuff because i will be taking this palette to florida with me when i go for the holidays and stuff like that to go spend time with my mom and all them so i will be taking this palette with me to use this for like travel because i don't want to take much with me okay i'm gonna do something so i'm gonna just go like this and kind of rub on my eye a little bit Okay, the glitter, it will come off, okay? 
rub your eyes or something, you'll get glitter all over the place. That is, this is not like full bone glitter that you can just, you know, rub and, you know, it won't go everywhere. If I rub this all over just now, it'll rub all over my face and in my eyes and stuff. So, but definitely use an eye primer because it does adhesive and at least it does not drop. There's no fallout right here on my eyes at all. There's no fallout. So that's the nice thing about it. So yeah, this is Emily approved. Um, the eyeliner, I'm not going to fully approve that because like it's good, but it's not like the dark, nice black that I like. Now, if you are a person who likes the black gray kind of eyeliner and stuff where it's like a little, it's lighter than deep black, go for it. Um, but other than that, it's okay. Um, but the mascara, I don't know. It's not Emily approved. Sorry. I, I'm sorry, Tarte. Um, but no. Um, because that mascara freaking fragrance, no. I can't deal with that every day. Like, no. It'll give me a headache. And actually, right now, because of me using it, I full on smell it. And it's giving me a headache. So, anyway. Let's go in with some lip conditioner. Favorite product ever, top seller. My full on top seller is this lip conditioner because it saves cracked lips and it will hydrate your lips and moisturize and all good things. I don't know. Put some on the tongue, that's weird. Anyway. We're going to put this mauve pink liquid lipstick on. Because this is gorgeous. What ounce is this? Oh. It says right there, doesn't it? It should. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. No, no. What's in the box? It probably says on the website. I'll have to look it up. Technically, I didn't even need to dip in, but whatever. I just did it anyway. I'm not thinking. I love this liquid lipstick. Best liquid lipstick formulation. I love it. Top notch. And this is Pharmacy. Pretty, I like this pink. Especially with this eye, yes, this eye, no. Because <laughs> again, like this color is not for, not for me. It just doesn't show out my brown eyes. This one does because of its lighter gold. I'm going to blend out this, but that's okay. We'll leave it. I think it looks good though. So yeah, that was my review basically on that. My opinions, my thoughts. If you don't like them, sorry. You know, they're my thoughts. Um, if you enjoyed watching this, um, give me some hearts. And also, share please. Sharing is caring and it means a lot to me. Helps me network out. Um, and then also... Um, what was also I going to tell you? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. and if you are watching this off of YouTube, go down below, ring the bell, and subscribe. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night, and I love you all. And I will actually probably be back on here, or I'm just going to make a video, honestly. A regular video and upload it because of this bomb. I can't wait to test it, so... Love you all, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.